Hi everyone. Hello. Nice to see you. Wow, so alive. <laughs> Chat's so alive today. Yeah. It's my first stream of the year. Technically the second. With Jesse and Josh's yesterday. So very cool. <laughs> now what is Chat saying right now? Ooh, we're drawing an art prompt right now for Victoria Spiper. Hi. Hi. <laughs> yes, of course. So many kind people here all wanting to do art. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Ooh, yeah. You're early. That's nice. School starts tomorrow. Oh, no. Yeah, that's why I thought it'd be fitting to draw this. To draw this uh, little doodle. <laughs> But yeah, the 2024 headband. Yeah, I wore one last year too. 2023. <laughs> but yeah, audio good? Audio check? Is my audio a-okay? Doodle encapsulates my mood. Yes. Audio good. Thank you. Oh, first stream? Then welcome, welcome. Audio god. But yeah, it's really funny to play with this mic because um, I've been playing Lethal Company with my friend. It's really fun. <laughs> yeah, you guys should play that too if you haven't yet. Very, very fun. <laughs> yeah, fantasy outfits. Yeah, just to give a heads up for people. <clears throat> what won the poll was Fantasy College. So we'll be drawing... You know, uniforms and stuff. But I'll talk about that later, though. <laughs> For the company, yeah. Ooh. Yeah, Magma is a pretty good program. It's it's a collaborative art program. But yeah, I'm using Clip Studio Paint. I get a rock and stone, rock and stone. Yeah, I did play Deep Rock Galactic 2 back in the day, but I haven't been playing recently, honestly. It's been years. But it's nice to see that the game's still, still doing pretty well. Very epic game. <laughs> and stone. <laughs> nice chat following along. <laughs> Word, you told me, Quinn. Told me in camp. So funny. How am I today? I'm pretty good. This fine Sunday morning. <laughs> yeah. Do, do, do. I'm just checking. There's stuff I need to do. But yeah, this new year. Uh, I don't know. When I celebrated this new year. It was pretty good. I didn't, uh, didn't do too much. Just hung out at home. Nice chill New Year. Yeah, just playing uh, Final Fantasy XIV and Tears of the Kingdom. Uh, pretty good New Year celebration. <laughs> Ooh, question. What are my pronouns? He, him. Yes, it's your boy. I'm Iggy. Your boy Iggy. Hello. And it's almost just about time to start. Doop, doop. Doing pretty good. I'm excited. I'm excited to just, you know, draw and doodle. It's gonna be a nice chill stream, as always. <laughs> Nar. <laughs> Nar. Scream with me? Uh, you can scream first. Scream first, Wolfie. <laughs> you're doing all the games, Final Fantasy? Oh my gosh. I don't know how you're gonna play Final Fantasy 12 though. 12 is... I'm not sure if 12 is still up. I don't know. Ooh, art class applications? Yeah, good luck, Renny. <laughs> Ooh, and a Spanish test... For turtle buns. It'll be all good. School started last Thursday. Yeah. 
I can't believe it's already been a week. It's been a week into 2024. <laughs> Too tired to draw? Then yeah, just come chill with us. We'll draw some cool stuff. And speaking of that, it's just about time. Just about time to start the stream. So again, for people who just came in, welcome. Welcome to... Welcome to the, the stream. <laughs> and you can tell, I haven't done this in a while. So I'm kind of uh, out of my groove. So forgive me. Forgive me if I mess up. <laughs> but today, we're going to be drawing fantasy outfits. And we did a poll in the community tab. What won the poll was commu was <laughs> community college, fantasy college. So we'll be drawing school uniforms and a scientist teacher. So that was the that's the mood we came up with. <laughs> and I want to show the process of keeping consistent designs for your fantasy world and what to take into account. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Happy birthday? How'd you know? My birthday advanced. You're the first person to greet me. Oh wait, no. I'm back reading. There's somebody... Somebody has their birthday in chat. Ooh, Ronan Alpha? Ooh, happy birthday in six days. <laughs> there we go. And I'm trying to remember if there's anything I forgot. But yeah, even though we're mainly focusing on fantasy college, We'll still be going over the process, you know. It doesn't have to be limited to just a fantasy school. Yeah. <laughs> no. My birthday's in six months. No, no, no. <laughs> I thought the early birthday. I was just memeing. <laughs> yeah, hey. Hey, little man. Yeah, that's your user. <laughs> but... Sorry, I'm just double checking stuff. But yeah, before we begin, uh, I want to let everybody know that our growing community is filled with tons of art nerds. And we art nerds, we gotta stick together. And oh, that is the wrong one. <laughs> so be sure to check out our website for class offerings where you get critique, guidance, and encouragement from our instructors because we're not just a YouTube channel, we're also an art school. So if you'd like to support us so we can keep making free content, Consider supporting us by becoming a YouTube member for exclusive channel perks like emotes and sub badges or supporting us on Patreon for as little as $2 per month where you could get uh, work my working files, critique sessions, class recordings, and a huge discount on, on classes. And they have limited amounts of spots. So check it out. And yeah. You're nerd. Yeah, you're an art nerd. <laughs> So yeah, fantasy outfits. Let me write it down. Fantasy outfits. So the first thing I like to take into account is the backstory. So try to think of a story behind behind what you're designing for. And since what we're doing is a fantasy college. So I'm thinking of, you know, uniforms and teachers. Mm -hmm. And we got to think of what this college is teaching. So already we have fantasy and college. So those two words. And you can do what's called the mind map. And I like doing this. So fantasy college. So, mind map, you know, try to think of words that are related to these two. So, fantasy college, I think of like magic, you know, scholars. But since we always go with magic, I kind of go with a fantasy engineer sort of thing. Kind of like steampunk, but not really steampunk, just fantasy. So, maybe engineer. And then uniforms, like I mentioned earlier. And what else? Oh, dragons, potion class. Yeah, it could be. Yeah, we could do that. Potions. Just every sort of maybe fantasy, fantasy thing. I guess this is the place where they come 
to learn about fantasy things <laughs> that we all know and love. Yeah, and I imagine that for my fantasy college, uh, it must be really fancy. Something prestigious. So, prestigious. Mm. And what else? Yeah, let me see what chat is saying. Knowledge of the other realms. Yeah, knowledge. So yeah, these these words are words that'll help uh Ooh, talk louder. Hello, hello. <laughs> I'm I'm just gonna cl get close to my mic. <laughs> but yeah, sorry. I'll try to keep my voice up. Uh, but yeah, try to use these words as like a guiding, guiding stuff. <laughs> guiding, what's it called? I'm losing the term. Uh. Basically, guiding factors. I'll just say that to to your drawing. And yeah, and you can do this for any sort of genre, really. It doesn't have to be just fantasy college. And then, if you'd like to, you know, you could expand on it and become more specific. So, since we're designing uniforms and uh, teachers, uh, maybe we could think of specific things around. So, for potions, we could think of uh, glass. And like vials and stuff. So maybe our designs could have glass and vials. And then for magic, I mean, I can think of staff. And then crystals. So maybe those are things we could add onto our onto our designs here. And engineer, I can think of a an apron. Like the, the working apron, the gloves and stuff. So yeah, this is how it works. Honestly, you could keep you could keep expanding infinitely, but this is a nice way to get the the brain going. So yeah, I'll put this mind map on the side. Let me write that down. Mind map. But I won't spend too long on that. I won't spend five million years on it. I just wanna move on and getting to getting to drawing. Man, let's see. Could you could you use this to determine the personality too? Of course. Use it to your heart's content. Oh, also, I forgot goggles. Maybe we could use goggles. And I think of welders actually. So maybe we could have like a fantasy welder or something. You know, fantasy. Oh, blacksmith. <laughs> maybe instead of a welder, it's a blacksmith. Blacksmith. So yeah, lots of things. And yeah, I this is getting me getting me really excited to draw. So I guess I'll just draw. I'll just uh, put this aside, copy paste it, put this in the notes folder. And room casters. And then for teachers, I just think of them uh, as maybe a cooler version of the student uniform. Excuse me. And yeah, since specifically what won the poll was uh, Fantasy College, I want to talk about uniforms. So I have a few examples here. So a few examples from some of my favorites. So I got Persona 5 right here. And Gundam Witch for Mercury. So the way I think of student uniforms, they're pretty consistent. Yeah, Persona... They're pretty consistent, and they could get really boring, right, if everybody's wearing the same thing. But the way I want to design my student uniforms, I want them to be simple enough that they could express themselves in different ways. For example, this main character, uh, Joker, you know, is wearing the most basic one. And same with, with Simi, right? If she's wearing her basic, you know, the girl uniform, feminine uniform. And then we got like all these different variations of how you could wear the uniform. So you could wear a sweater over it, jacket, maybe jacket on the inside of the blazer, and different different shirt on the inside, put some straps and pull up the pull up the sleeves or the pant legs, right? So that's fun. And what else? What is chat? Oh, chat looks normal, but screen is pixelated. Ooh. 
Is it pixelated for any other people? Because I think it might be just on your end, if it is. Just double checking. Yeah. <laughs> You're good. Okay. Thank you. And then the next one, from Rich for Mercury, I... Yeah, cotton candy on her hair. And uh, that's Choo Choo. And you can see everybody too. Uh, they're wearing all the same uniform, but just different variations. So the main character is Letta. She has the title of Holder. That's why she's wearing the white and gold version of the uniform. And everybody else, you can tell their personality from it. Yeah, uniform squad. That's why I was pretty excited when, when this won the poll. It's pretty good. So now we're gonna be designing our own uniforms. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. I just wanted to show those as an example. <laughs> With the doodle. Okay. Let me just name this. No doodle. And put this in a different folder. And then draw. Let's put it there. Okay, so the first thing I want to talk about when designing outfits is, you know, try not to stress too much on the pose. Just keep it simple, honestly. And what's on the itinerary is I want to design a masculine uh, uniform and a feminine uniform and then the teacher. So we'll be designing like different variations of it. What am I gonna draw? I'm gonna draw like a, I guess our mannequin, our our base for the people. <laughs> yeah, so for the people who still go to school here, uh, do you guys wear uniforms? <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, because the last time I wore uniforms, it was for elementary and a little bit of high school. In the school I went to. Yeah. Ooh, wear a uniform. Because it's a mixed school. I see. Yeah, because before... I remember my uniform. Let me draw it. My uniform is like a button-up. Is a blue button-up. Like this. Blue button-up. Collared. Right? Let me draw it real quick. Like this. And then we had to wear like a student ID, like that. So I remember, one of the fun things about wearing a student uniform, even though it sounds really limiting, is just like I talked about earlier, is trying to express yourself with as little, little accessories as possible. So, elementary school me, you know, had like rubber bands. <laughs> like lots of, lots of rubber wristbands. And then I had like, pins and stuff on my ID. And then what else did I have? <laughs> I remember my wallet, it had a chain. So yeah, I had like a chain too right there. Oh yeah, that was my <laughs> that was my chuni phase. <laughs> oh yeah, this is this was my drip back in the day. Oh, can I give you an animal for an OC? Um, armadillo. So there you go. That's my suggestion. Oh, hate my uniform though because they don't let you wear jackets. What? I see. Then yeah, I guess you could wear it around your around your waist then. Another classic, classic drip. No, no. Emo phase. Nah, I was never emo. I could never. Mm -hmm. Yeah, right now I'm just doing a simple silhouette because I don't want to stress out too much over the, the pose. And let me fix. So you can see I'm doing the pose in a way that'll showcase the outfit. And 
drink water. <laughs> yes, I will now. Now that you mentioned it, I will. If Dio was less confident. Excuse me. Have I eaten before stream? Yes, I have. Eat some chicken. Ooh, it gives you an animal. Hmm. Trying to think of like a cool animal. I give you a. Hmm. I don't know if you're up for it, but like a lobster is the first thing I think of. They're pretty cool. Lobsters are pretty cool. <laughs> I guess everybody's asking for animal suggestions. Um, what is a good animal? I think birds are my favorite animal, honestly, though. But hmm, what kind of bird do I like? What about a crow? Classic. <laughs> yeah, end up liking it anyway. Yeah, for sure, Victoria. Or Victorious. <laughs> Not Victoria. Victorious Viper. Lobstars. Hmm, give you an animal. Hamster. Yeah, that's my suggestion. Hamster. Man, this is close enough for our first first silhouette. Seven inversion. Hmm. Yeah, what about you, Onyx? What is a good one? I guess since your name is Onyx, it makes me think of the Pokemon. So maybe a snake. <laughs> Give me one, two. Uh, okay. I'm trying to think. What are some cool animals? Um, because I don't just- I don't want to give you just like a normal, you know, everyday domestic animal. Maybe a sunfish. Makes you think of a rock. Oh yeah, how about you guys give me an animal actually? So, I want a icon, I want or an icon for this college. So maybe, since you guys are talking about animals, maybe we could decide the college's insignia, like the logo icon. Right. Dragonflies. I kind of like that. Dragonflies. Otter. Raccoon. Tanuki. <laughs> Cute. Some golden bird. There are a lot of sunfish. I want to be the first. A honey badger. Oh, you have a bearded dragon. Cool. Yeah, I, I don't know. We'll see. Right now, I'm leaning towards dragonfly. Actually, that sounds kind of nice. So we'll see. Once you get there, we'll cross that bridge once you draw the actual uniform. And... <clears throat> oh, sugar gliders. Yeah. They're cute. A dragon dragonfly? Yeah, it's like... Uh... It's like Vibrava from Pokemon. Turning into a Flygon. Can't see it? Yeah, little man. I think. <laughs> little man. I think it's on your end, sadly. I think your internet on yours. Sadly, I can't do anything about it. Ooh, Kitsune. Flyvern? Fairy Dragon? Pretty good. Oh, Iguana. <laughs> yeah, that'd be cute. Alright. Or actually, let me change this a bit. There. And there. Yeah, Dragonfly Wing. Right? I feel like it'd be a cool... 
cool, cool idea. A panda. Yeah. Like their school mascot. Me yeah, again. Once I finish these silhouettes, we'll start to design our uniform. And by the way, the key to designing is to not worry about making a perfect design first try. It's all about exploring at the space. So, yeah, if an idea comes to your mind, just uh, just do it. Hmm. I want a teacher uniform. Yeah, I'll do that too. I'll do the... Excuse me. Sorry. I'll do the pose of the teacher. Actually, let me zoom up. Put them down right here. Or actually, yeah. I'll do it this way. And I want the teacher to be slightly taller. Yeah, and this teacher, I don't know. I don't know what their design will be yet, but in time, I will figure it out. I will decide the student uniforms first, I think. Yeah, that would be a good idea. Yeah, for doves. Snake with three heads that shoots flower venom. Ooh. Oh, and thank you. <laughs> Thanks, old man. Little falcon. I don't know, I think I've decided on a... Uh, a dragonfly. Hmm. Or actually a bee would be good too. <laughs> classic. Bees, you know, the classic hardworking hardworking animal. Ooh, my favorite game of all time. Um it's always hard because it changes every time. But Favorite game of all time. It would probably be uh, Kingdom Hearts 2, <laughs> I guess if I have to say. Because it's such a good action game. And it has my favorite Kingdom Hearts story. And it's really fun. Like changing forms and stuff. Yeah, it's my favorite. Like Kingdom Hearts 3, after the, the DLC, was my favorite gameplay wise. But I still think 2, 2 just has a special place in my heart. A bee who is overworked, oh no. Ooh, Undertale? Okay, Undertale is up there for me. It's in my top 3 for sure. Undertale is amazing. Man. Because for Undertale, you, you just can't, uh, you can't do it as a show or a movie it's uniquely it's uniquely good because it's told in the story of games so that's why i love it so much it takes full advantage of it and there okay i got my got my silhouettes here but i want to design the what should what should we call it the masculine fit or the student uniforms first, and then next. There we go. So I'm gonna just doodle. <laughs> Let's doodle now. It's the story of a game. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah. And this will just be like a quick version. So what I imagine for this uniform uh, I like layered uniforms. I don't want just, you know, wear a t-shirt. It doesn't feel fancy. So, what I imagine is a sweater and then robe sort of thing. So, I'm gonna try this. I'm gonna design the robe first, or the sweater. And I gotta remember that this is fantasy. So, I'll think of a way to make it seem fantasy and not modern. Because that's the last thing I want. So I'll probably avoid stuff like uh, zippers and all that. 
you know, unless you want your fantasy world to have zippers, then that's totally fine too. Yeah, Sky. Ooh. Yeah, I've heard some of my friends talk about it. Yeah, they are. How do they work? They bite into each other. Boop, boop. So, yeah. Yeah, I'm trying out this, uh... Okay, maybe not like that. Maybe I'll just keep it, like... Maybe longer. Here? Cut out a vest. Right here, and then I'll do this fight. I could barely see it though. So I wonder if I did this. I kinda don't like that. Uh, maybe I'll just do this. Like a pop collar sort of thing. Yeah. Add some shadow to it. Yeah, and you can see that I jumped straight into coloring. Because I'm more for exploring in this one, you know. Uh, quantity over quality this time. Ooh, Lucader uniforms count as fantastical. I don't see why not. Yeah. And, uh, and so I imagine this is like the NPC version, I guess? Like the most basic version of the uniform. So if you were designing a side character, this is what they'd be wearing. Not much, uh, variation to it. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I was kind of thinking. I want it to be more a engineer college than a magic college. But maybe, maybe they still have magic as like an elective or something. That's part of, it's part of it, but it's a engineering school. That's what I think of. Just because I remember some people were talking about in the in the poll. They were talking about wanting to design scientists, but in fantasy. <clears throat> yeah. Ooh, genuine question. What if I want to jump to coloring? A colored layer of cloth, but transparent, like that color blicking. Okay, let me let me reread that question. What if I jump to coloring a colored layer? Huh. So are you saying you're turning the cloth transparent? Sad project. Hey yo, hey Jesse. Yeah, first stream. First stream of the year, baby. Hello, hello. Yeah, we're designing fantasy uniforms. Queen of Cheese. Ah, uh, the Queen of Cheese is here. I am blessed with her presence. <laughs> What's going on? We're designing uniforms. So I'm designing the basic version of it. And I was thinking that later I'll do variations. Because earlier we were talking about examples. Where is it? Where's my examples? Right here. Here's a, here are my examples that I really like. You know, a very basic uniform, but then they express themselves with it. You know, so I want to design something along these lines, and we'll see how far we go. <laughs> Love to see it, right? Yeah, so cool. Especially this one. Oh, classic. Just put your jacket over your shoulders. Just feel immediately ten times cooler. Always. Oh my gosh. <laughs> the cheese. Oh yeah, <laughs> the school. Well, he's my boy. If you've watched this anime, yeah, he's a school bully in the beginning, but he becomes my boy. Okay. Yeah, got watch Gundam. It's very good. <laughs> watch for Mercury. Yeah. And I don't know what to do for the pants yet, so I'll just do like some basic pants and then. I'll see if I change my mind. Well, let's talk about cheese. Hmm. You guys know about Farmer John's cheese? Oh my gosh, classic. Farmer John's cheese. 
Put it on your spaghetti and meatballs. <laughs> Ooh, The Sims. Nice. Oh yeah, Jesse. I've been playing Tears of the Kingdom because my friend gave it to me. Uh, he he had two copies because he bought it, and then somebody gifted them Tears of the Kingdom again. And he gave it to me for for the holidays. It's so nice. Banger game. <laughs> it's it's so fun because you can really express yourself. You know, you can just like you know do stuff and like mess around. I think my favorite is the time reverse mechanic. So what I would do, what I love doing, is say there's like a big cliff and I'm like right here. So what I would do is I would grab the like a platform or something. So I would like put it there, use ultra hand, and then I'll raise it up as much as I can. And then I put it down again. And then uh, let me use this diagram. And then I get on it. And then I time reverse. And then when I time reverse, it goes back up again. That's one of my favorite things to do. Time reverse is so fun. Tears of the Kingdom. It's amazing. <laughs> Take me and Sims. I would be Shrek. <laughs> yeah, honestly, I can see it. It's also my game of the year that I played. Yeah. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> still have still have the cough. Sadly. See you to cheese the mechanics. I know, right? Wish we could turn back time to the good old days. Na, 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 na. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to think of what else I've been doing. Yeah, I love getting lost in the map and recognizing some of the stuff from Breath of the Wild back in the day. But yeah, I can't wait. Ooh, do you think they'd allow having boots? Maybe we could design one with boots. So I'm just designing the the dress code. Ooh, satyr or centaur? We'll see. We'll see later if we have the if we have the time for sure. I'd love to. Did you miss much? Uh, we just started uh, designing the first uniform more or less. Yeah, you can always just rewatch the stream. I'm trying to think. But yeah, for Tears of the Kingdom, I just finished the, uh, what's it called? The Rito Village one. The, the Storm Arc. But yeah, Jesse, I saw, I saw the guy, the little bird guy, Tulin. The bird you drew. I remember when you drew him. That was nice. Too cute. And I can see why you like him. Very cute. Yeah, best boy. <laughs> yeah, I like it because he's still like, um, what was his name? Rivali? You know, Rivali is standoffish, you know, he's mean to Link. But then Tulin is like a nicer version of Rivali. He's like, yeah, man, I'm a prodigy, but I'm nice about it. <laughs> uh, so cute. And yeah, I just have him hanging around. I have his. Shadow clone jutsu with me at all times. Yeah, it's pretty funny. Bird baby. <laughs> I know, right? Just flying forward. Ooh, I am uh, reading this comment. How uniform would work for different species. Yeah, I'll definitely get to that um, after I design this first uniform. Because you gotta decide first. <laughs> Hi, Eevee. Hello, hello. Yeah, it sounds really funny because so many people are bringing up centaurs now. Centaur dresses. <laughs> but yeah, is, isn't it weird how centaurs have two rib cages? Kind of weird to think about. <laughs> yeah, since I'm getting a lot of requests for that. Maybe I'll make it brief, you know, I won't over-design this, this uniform. Right there. But, hmm, I kind of don't like this. Uh, wait a minute, I'll break up the shape. So, do 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 that. Do 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 do. Right? Nah. 
actually hold up. I need the color. There you go. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Because I kind of want to break up the shape. There and there. And yeah, it's kind of like a belt. <coughs> Excuse me. Ooh, characters with multiple arms have more rib cages. Yeah. Yeah, you like my hat? 2024. Just give him normal black shoes for now, and then gray socks. <laughs> Speaking of gray socks, it's really funny. So nobody ever looks at your socks, so I never really wear the same pair of socks. Nobody notices, <laughs> unless I tell them. I I usually, you know, when I have to wear socks, I wake up and I grab my socks, and it's just in a pile because why bother? <laughs> Why about nobody's gonna tell that I'm not wearing the same pair together and they're both the same color anyway so yeah <laughs> little fun fact about me <clears throat> excuse me yeah I think I like this uh, first uh, first draft I guess of this uniform so i'll do a second layer and i want to do i really want to do a robe so let's see yeah learn from drawing never have the same sock there you go and i kind of want to do this yeah so Again, like I mentioned earlier, I want this to be a engineering, fancy engineer college sort of thing. So maybe this is their it's called common, common wear. So yeah, I'll design this first. Yeah. Wait, you had to walk your car and your fish? Oh my god. Walk in the fish. <laughs> but I do remember seeing this meme where this person actually is walking their fish in the flood. So there's like, what was it? Knee deep flood? And then you just see a fish on a leash. Pretty awesome. <laughs> like that. But I don't know if that's good for the fish though. Yeah. I know, color blocking is so useful for this type of stuff because, you know, no need to worry about it. It's this good old, good old getting the colors right. But honestly, you can take your time. Like, do, like, your strategy that you use is dependent on how much time you have. So for me, I really want to go over quantity. I really want to do that centaur suggestion that everybody's... Everybody's asking. I feel like it'd be great. Yeah, because right now I'm just designing the outerwear. Let's see. The robe. There we go. And there. And let's see. Okay. Maybe I'll do a longer one. And I drew this on different layers so I could turn it, uh, I could toggle it. There. And there. And I'm paying attention to the shape as well. So I want the sleeves to be. Oops. I'll move this a little bit down. Because I want the sleeves to look like this, to make this shape. So if this was the shoulder, it'd be like that. It's kind of like a nice silhouette. Yeah, that's that's the thing I forgot to bring up while I was drawing the the thingy. I was 
drawing the the pose is I'm actually taking into account the the pose, the silhouettes. Right? So that nothing gets in the way of each other. <laughs> Where do I enroll? Uh good question. The, the, they haven't opened enrollments yet. <laughs> but I'll tell you what. Wing canvas wing canvas uh to wish or not to wish it, no is it? Enrollment is open, baby. <laughs> smooth, buttery smooth plug, let's go. Classes. It's open. So if you wanna learn with me or Jesse or Josh or other talented instructors that we got, uh check out our website. Yeah. <laughs> smooth plug. Yeah, I like this now. Yeah, so I like it. Now, what do you guys think? What do you guys think of this uniform now? Anything you guys want to add or, or whatever? Because I kind of like it so far. This is the, the basic version. Gold. Oh, add gold. Yeah, true. Yeah, perfect base to build off of, right? Yeah, sure. Yeah, maybe this is a fancy... Okay, now that everybody's saying gold, okay, now we know this is prestigious. Prestigious school. I know I mentioned it earlier, but... I was kind of playing with the idea that it's an accessible one. But now this is a fancy fancy one. We're adding gold to it. Not literally gold, like the ore, but... Gold colors just exude prestige. Right. Oh, cool goggles. Maybe a tie. Hmm, I don't know about a tie. Because I don't have thing. Let's see. I'll try it though. I'll still try it. So I wonder what if I made this deeper? Right. Hmm. <laughs> Gloves if there's welding. Yeah, I mentioned it earlier. Right? I want this to be like sort of like an engineer thing. Maybe I'll do it for the the feminine version. Right. I'll do like a engineering stuff, engineering uniform. Ooh, a badge. Yeah, I wonder, what if I did this instead? Instead of it being entirely blue? I'll see. And there. So yeah, be unafraid at this space. Be not afraid. Just do every single thing. Okay, I kind of want to do a shoulder patch. Maybe I'll just do a shoulder patch right here instead of it being on the on the chest like it usually is i want to put it on the shoulder like that and gold hmm yeah exactly so right now i'm just figuring out the base so that we know how to how to customize it so yeah maybe Maybe one of the students is wearing a bow tie and like a neck necktie. So I'll save it for later. Right. And there. Yeah, right now. Oops. And there. And also you could totally take inspiration from uh from re real world things. So as an example for the welder, I already had this in mind, but I want to do the welder jacket. Uh this. Maybe I'll show it in a little bit. Once I get to the other one, other body type. And I'm not gonna lie, I kinda don't like the gold, so I'll get rid of the gold for now. Maybe we'll add we'll add it some other way later. Maybe gold buttons. Maybe. Right there. And then oops. 
gold here. Wait. Maybe this though, I like. No. There we go. I think I like gold like this better. But what about the bottom? Let's see. Oh, welcome back. Silver works with black and blue. Yeah. FMA vibes, yeah. Pretty good. But I'll see again. Actually, I'll try again. Maybe it's too early to say. Right? Okay, okay I take it back. I really like this one. Okay. And the gold trim. And then since it's a it's a dragonfly, like we established earlier. So we'll add like dragonfly wings. Okay. We'll see. Alright. There, how do you feel about this? Dragonfly wings. Maybe I'll add a touch of gold on here. I don't know. We'll see. Touch of gold on this insignia. Or, I don't know. Maybe like that for now. Pretty, right? You can barely hear me? Uh, let me turn up my mic. I'll just turn up my mic. There's too many people saying. Oh. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> How about now? Yeah, because my mic is really, really close, actually. Man, I know. My voice could be a little bit soft-spoken and small. Because that's how I like to... I like to talk. Okay. And let's see. Hmm, now it looks too fancy, actually. The, uh... The jacket. Let's see. Maybe I'll do like I'll copy paste it. <laughs> Where I can buy these clothes, right? So fancy. But maybe I'll try like different different ones before I try the centaur and the the teacher I could say for last, I think. Because I was thinking for the teacher it's just like a more like a cooler version. Of the student uniform. Like, I wanted to give an I'm you but stronger vibe sort of thing. Okay, so I'm gonna try like different ideas. Alright. Oh, what about this? Just the. There. <clears throat> so I wonder what'll be good. You know, maybe we don't have to decide actually. Maybe we'll just uh let's see. I got an idea. There. And I'll put both these for now. And you and Okay. There. Combine you. I'll just put these on the side. We'll be designing like a whole line just for this this outfit. There. Uh. Okay. These are the complete ones. So let me try to figure out how to. I should sort these. So I'll put, put them right here. Yeah, who wins? You decide. Maybe you don't have to decide, you know? Maybe it's just all about designing stuff today. And there. And there. <laughs> okay, I got a back. Oh my gosh. So much stuff I missed in chat. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I remember my my friend just told me like a funny thing. The swag. Something we Asians got. 
swag. Oh my gosh. Oh, and I forgot. I should put the, the logo on here. Maybe small logo. No, no, no. That you won't be able to see. They're wearing the robe. I mean, I was thinking. I like the base shape, but I don't know the design. So, I think I'll do... I'll, I'll get this uh, out of my thing first, because I really want to do this. But maybe this is one of the the cooler ways to wear it. So this is the jacket. No. Just the classic. No. <laughs> so maybe this is a more laid back or kinda lazy person. Maybe I'll raise it up a bit. Is this one? You know, it's a classic design trope. I love this design trope. Okay. And then they have a jacket down like that. I'm cooking. <laughs> I know, right? Well, maybe you could get your... Get like a cosplayer sewing artist. Like a cosplayer weaver. And there. So regardless of the design, I think you could wear it like this. As like a cool cool way to do it. Yeah, let me cook. Swag. Yeah, this the school drip. Classic just drape it over your shoulder. Yeah. There you go. And black. I used to make finger holes in my uniforms and being too big. Interesting. Okay. And I'll grab these. And of course, you gotta design a skirt version. Okay. Classic. And there you go. You got the drip, drip version. Just have it drape over your shoulder. No. <laughs> yeah, or when the anime character with the eyes closed finally opens their eyes and then they look like this. Oh my gosh, goes hard. <laughs> but I don't know if I'll be drawing characters though, like facial features. Because I really just want to focus on this. Just focus on designing peeps. Okay, so... You are going on here. Variation list. Yes. Wait a minute. Did I erase it by accident? Okay, I think I erased it by accident. Let me undo. Oh, hold on actually. Okay. Copy. But if I erase that layer by accident, I'm totally fine with it. I can just redraw the jacket. There we go. I just forgot to... Oh, I merged it by accident. I see. There we go. But wait a minute. Okay, it's still there. <laughs> okay. There. Sorry, let me manage my file for a little bit. There we go. So easy to get lost, lost in the sauce, lost in the layers. There. <clears throat> All right. What? Is, what is Chat saying now? Want to buy some magic? <laughs> Do inverted colors? Mm, I don't know. I think that's too big of a change. I think. Doing inverted colors. Uh, 
But I will try other stuff though for later. So yeah, this one, this variation. And I think, to be honest, my favorite variation of this jacket is this one. Not much fancy flourishes right there. Something like this is the one I like. The second one, basically. But I'm gonna try something again. Uh, and I'll, I'll cook. I'll cook with this one, so you'll see. So there, we got the uh, the collar of this jacket, and then this one. You've probably done this one before yourself. The classic. And there. And then. <laughs> Just like put your jacket around your waist. Then also doubles as a very cool coat. And I think I'll raise it up a bit. There you go. There. <laughs> yeah. Maybe we could do it for the teacher. Maybe we could make the white and gold version for the teacher. So honestly, I'll just leave, if I had to pick, it'd be this one, maybe with like the minimal gold. And I know I said earlier that I like this one, but yeah, that's the thing. It changes a lot. Yeah. There we go. And then... Hmm. Yeah, sadly, I don't have too much time. As much as I'd love to think of, you know, an in-depth backstory for everything, uh, I just can't. <laughs> Not enough time. So, right now I'm just focusing on the drawing techniques, which is what I do best anyway. There. Yeah, I'm not really a backstory type of guy. I just like to draw. add a little bit of color just to distinguish it so easy to get get lost in it yeah i think these are at least the variations i could think of right now first together and then oops, add the jacket right there and then this one. <laughs> yeah, I'll get rid of this. So I just like this version of it. And then like the line. Right there. And the gold trim. <laughs> yeah. One hour for sure. And hold up, actually, I gotta fix something real quick. Bloop, bloop. Yeah, I'm gonna design the feminine version. And the nice thing about a uniform, you know, it's more or less the same, more consistent. So now I will do them. Oh, oops. Then. And I think I will keep it more or less the same as like the basic one so where is it i'll copy paste it just so i had my reference here there okay so i'm gonna design the inner shirt first color fetch or actually <laughs> oh thank you thanks so much easy very nice look 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 And honestly, I haven't designed a character in a while. It's been a hot minute. Oh yeah, it drops a like. Thank you for drop like. Very cool. There. 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 And then the 
então. Actually, I wouldn't say it's a belt. Maybe it's kind of like a band. I'm not sure. <laughs> Leader of a club? Yeah, because I want it to be kind of like that. It's reminiscent of those those colleges. So yeah, it's kind of like, you know, you're using the, the shape language because, because every... Everyone sort of has an idea, you know, they associate stuff with other stuff. So for example, you know, if I did this without writing anything down, you probably know what it means, right? Like without even writing anything down, you already know what this means, means stop. So I started the same thing. Character design is trying to convey as much things as possible, saying the least amount of stuff. Yeah, actually, I thought it was an idea. Maybe I could get like an oversized one. Oversized version of this. Nah. Nah. And I really want to design the... What's it called? The centaur, because like, so many people mentioned it. Ooh. Cute. Side pins. Ooh, what's a good tip understanding shoes and boots? Uh, yeah, what what are you having trouble with, Kenny, for boots and shoes? And speaking of that, I will design a one with boots, probably. Thanks for reminding me. Be cold. And actually, this one, copy paste it. Mask. No. Yeah, it's kind of like a dress up game now. Look, uh, when I put it on, right? Like, there you go. Dress up. I think I'll just put this as rip. Bloop, bloop, bloop. Hmm, the angles, I see. Ooh, complex planes of the face in a simpler style. Ooh, I think that's a question for another stream. Because I won't be focusing on faces, sadly. But, hmm, I think, but to give you an answer still though, I just think of everything as a cube. The world is cubes. <laughs> so you could think of like the, the skull, like this, this. And then you just sort of build up on it. Because the most important part, uh, or the reason why I use cubes, is because it has all the sides. It has front, and a right, left, top, and then bottom, and then the back. So I kind of just use that as a reference. So say if I'm drawing a face, you know, I'd say that this is the front, and this is the side. So I just kind of use the cube as a bounding box sort of thing. And for for boots, let me erase this. For boots, I like to do this. This is my simplest shape of feet. Kind of like an arrow. You could think of the foot as an arrow pointing to where, where it's facing. Like that. So maybe if it was facing forward, like that arrow it's facing towards us like that and i'll get the designing boots in a little bit <clears throat> yeah and uh, let me stretch ah okay i got an idea actually so i'll copy paste this and i'll see if it will work <laughs> And then transform, flip horizontal. Okay, this works. I just need to adjust it now. So now, so there you go. Modern problems, modern solutions. There. Like that. I think I need to shorten the sleeves a bit. There. Yeah. 
there we go and put this so yeah literally <laughs> i know it seems like a lot but my head is very empty right now <laughs> i'm just i'm just drawing drawing as much as i can and then this one i just erase it head empty no thoughts in there in there So we got just like that, easy peasy. I got my uniform. Now I'll draw the back of this package. Right there. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, I imagine they have long short sleeve versions. Yeah, we could do that. Ooh, alright, Geo. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, let's see. I'm just back reading chat right now. <laughs> um, what I imagine... Uh, I'm trying to think. Right. I wanted to design like a big version. Big. Okay, so... Bit. Just merge this. So that I have my... I have my other version. That I like. But I want like a big, big baggy version of this one. So maybe <laughs> this. Oh, oops. Oh, right. I should copy paste this too. Uh, this. as like a nice uh what's it called i'm just playing with the silhouette of the basic uh in there and there maybe they moved the band up just the bigger version of it and i wonder Oop. the leggings yep in there mm. all right actually i can just erase it uh, let me erase it. Doot, doot, doot. There. Oh, did I draw on? I did. I drew on the the layer of the person. Oops. Oh well. Oh well. Uh, I'll copy paste it. Yeah, I didn't sort my my layers properly. Be kind of cool. Oh yeah, Charlie and then well, student of Baldesian. Mm -hmm. That'd be funny. I haven't gotten that far into the story yet for Final Fantasy, but I do know who they are. But I've never seen the actual place. But yeah, it's kind of inspired by the Scions for sure. Units of thing. There. And there. I think I maybe I should have used the skin color as like something different. Uh, and then what does it look like with the jacket? Oops. There. This looks like uh Older version. Maybe I'll give. I got it actually. There. And there. I'll fix the pose after. Oh, so many people are messaging actually. I missed it. I'm scared. I'm never watching the news again. What? <laughs> Shaking. Tail bags? What are tail bags? So you have a bag just for your tail? Mm -hmm. 
Yeah. Ooh, they're shit. They're really cool. Trousers. Oh. Drake, <laughs> where's the door hole? <laughs> yeah, it's like a door hole for your tail. Where's the door hole? I put it right there. And. Empty boots. You know what? Let's see. I'm too lazy. So. Okay, I got the basic one. I'll just merge it. Too lazy to this, and then maybe blue socks. Blue socks, right there, and boots, right there, and there. Or hmm, maybe higher, higher socks. Right there. And there. There you go. Just one of the, uh... One of the variations. Oh, I merged the... <laughs> Wait a minute. I merged all layers. I just realized. And I do that. Boop. Okay, maybe I need to slow down a little bit. And Yeah, I guess I merged it way earlier. Alright. And... <laughs> it's okay to wear a skirt and pants? I don't know about that. I don't know about the skirt-pants combo. Leggings, maybe. You know, I will... I think leggings are drippy with skirts. But I don't know. I don't know about that. Pants? You wear jeans? <laughs> Alright. Let me bring it back. And... Ooh. Uh, I had to redo it because I realized I combined all the layers, <laughs> so... Yeah. Yeah, skirt and short. That one, yeah, makes sense. But I guess I'm thinking of like uh, <laughs> jeans. Oh my gosh. Yeah, true. Also, what Jason said: do what you want. Who's gonna stop you? Fashion police. Okay, there we go. Oh, I see now, because... I'll put a mask, whatever. There we go. Yeah, this is one variation of it. But I'll probably... It's not as obvious. Yeah, exactly. And I want to do a welder, right? That was one of the things I wanted to do. And I'm checking for the time. Boop, boop. And then let me fix up the shape. Everything. There. And I forgot to design the... The set. I'll add the logo. Just like that. Yeah, I don't know if I, I'll design the logo though. Maybe we could leave it to imagination. Ooh. Stocking tend to be feminine. Yeah. I mean, I did have like a basic one. This is the basic one. So it's just a variation. Right there. So now I'll put this. Or actually... There. Merge together. Or actually... Put this aside. You know, we could mix and match anyway. So maybe we could apply the, the ones from earlier. I kind of wish I kept those layers now, actually. So we could mix and match. Alright. And then... Yeah, I want to do a welder. 
spoil their version. So, hmm, let's see. Do I have a folder for it? I do. Wait. Is it? Oops. No. Oh wait. This is the one. I want the new one. There. Oops. And there. Dripped out. No, turn out the letters. Mm hmm. Yeah, that's the fun thing about clothes. Wear them. <laughs> you can wear whatever you want. Get trippy with it. There. Yeah, I'm just uh, stretching my hand a little bit. I drew really fast, actually. <laughs> all the stuff we did right there okay so I wanted to design the welder one and I've seen the welder jackets and I want to do that I was thinking of doing this and then like it's unbuttoned I want it to be an unbuttoned welder jacket seen the ones where it's kind of like a crop top <laughs> so it's really big like that there, there. and there so it's kind of like a cool jacket i don't know if you've ever seen it but yeah it reminds me of when i was in high school back in the day we did welding and we had to wear the welding welder jacket, and then I saw it. It's kind of like crop top, like this. I really like it. And then, get gloves. Maybe I'll do like some. Maybe not that much. Maybe I'll make it more pinkish, actually. There. And I want to make it fantasy looking, so I don't want it to be just some basic gloves. And there. There. And there. There. Yep. <laughs> Let's see. Well, there's jackets. Yeah. It's leather. Clothes designer. Well, this is... Okay, I should say this, but when you're designing clothes, it'd be nice to like look up reference and stuff. Like I know I showed uh, Gundam and Persona earlier, but you know, you can do more research than what I did there. I literally just like, was like, I saw it and I was like, wow, that's cool. I want to do that. that. That was literally it. But you could do so much deeper research into it and like add more. And yeah. And then there. And then... Here, I'm just adding like a little bit of light. Just so I can separate it. So it's easy to tell the... The parts and all that. Oh, I have an idea actually. What if this is actually a full... Jacket? But then there's like a strap. So like uh, that would be a good color. Maybe this color. So it's being held up like that. And then you can unbutton it <laughs> so that it becomes a full jacket. I kinda like it. It looks pretty fancy too. With the buttons. There. There you go. Just add some, add some shine to it, just so it's easy to tell the parts of this jacket. Yeah. 
and then hmm. Excuse me. It's all good. Thank you. Ooh, mask for fumes. Okay, that's a good idea actually. Um maybe Meh? Goggles. Goggles for welding. Meh. This is like the most designed character so far. Maybe this is like an inventor character. There? And then a mask. I kinda wanna put a mask here. It's too busy. Uh, oh, I got it. Oh, I'm cooking. I'm cooking with this one. Boom. Mask. On here. <laughs> but I don't know. Uh, what would be a fancy mask <laughs> for respiration? Maybe I got it actually. Instead of it being like a real mask, you know, like a respirator, maybe I'll just do a. Uh, I'll just do like a band, you know, kind of like how Zoro, he takes out his bandana. Maybe, he, maybe she pulls out like this bandana for the mask. cooking there you go i kind of like this oh and boots i could give the i suppose the modern version of fantasy college tech wear yeah but yeah i think i won't add a mask i'll just add like a bandana and then steel toe boots uh, i think i'll add the the logo Logo would be right here on the other arm. There we go. So yeah, we got different variations here. Hmm, and what time is it? Okay, I still gotta design the teacher. <laughs> but now that we got a good sample size of the student uniforms, I think it'll be pretty cool. Okay, I don't want this to be mittens. So I want it to be actual. I'll just draw the thingies. There. There we go. I'll just draw a line art for it. And then the boots. Steel toe boots. Essential. Essential for any what's it called? Trade. Yeah. I think this should be good enough. Uh, actually, maybe... <laughs> this is like the most over-designed ones yet. But that's okay. Because everyone else is just kind of like... Yeah, student. Trippy. But then this one, this person's straight up a welder. There you go. some lighter material on the tip the toes there we go and then but yeah I wanted to use this reddish pinkish brown just because it's a nice complement to the to the blue yeah and there you go so many variations the same outfit There. Oh, oops. Uh, here. Merge it all together. Yeah. There. And there. So we got the feminine version of all these characters. So, so far, we got. Where is it? Oh, okay. It's all. Forgot to put it in them there and i gotta design the teacher so we got the masculine ones where we just kind of played with the the uniform and the feminine one actually looks a little bit sparse compared to the thing i'll rearrange it later probably and then the teacher 
Okay, so for the teacher, got an idea. Um, merge, merge. So, and I'll do. I'll do this first before I continue. Eat. I'll use these as my reference students. I think I'll only do one teacher design though. So there. It's kind of the same actually. <laughs> I don't know why I picked both of them. Pretty samey. Yeah, we haven't even dragged the actual professor. Okay, so what I imagine is that they would be, like I said, I'm you but stronger sort of thing. So, I want them to be a scientist. Um, so, lab coat. Uh, lab coat. But also, is a pro. Looks like, um, maybe they look like they have every element of what the students got. And I was thinking, actually. So, one of the... What's it called? One of the designs, I guess, that always speaks a lot to me is big shoulders. Because big shoulders usually mean authority. So I'll do that. I'll do like big shoulder. Oh, I got it actually. What if I did this? Kind of like one of those, what's it called? Cloaks, maybe? But it's not exactly a cloak. It doesn't have a hood. Yeah, and I want it to be a nice, nice white. Big old shoulder pads, yeah. But I also want it to be practical. So I don't want it to just be, you know, just cool looking. Yeah. And I'll make it blue. White and blue. Alright. For the collars at least. And they're wearing a turtleneck. At least that's how I imagine it. And I'll just do some line art. Boop, boop. Yeah, see it already looks more authoritative if you put the big shoulders Ooh, a big orc lady yeah yeah the uh the uniforms i designed are pretty unisex so could be could be either very cool yeah, big science teacher <clears throat> Guess big sleeves. Oh wait, I'm drawing on the same thingy. Okay, I'll copy it. I don't wanna I keep forgetting to make a new layer. Oh, oops, too far. There we go. Go here. Boom. Each. And wait, what? <laughs> Reminds me of a. Uh... Pokemon Violet uniforms are better. Mm. I know. Yeah, Pokemon Violet. I wish they would just spend more time than one year to make games. They like, if they were given time, they would cook. You know, Game Freak would cook. But, I don't know, it just seems like they never have enough time most of the time. Let's see. Or what if I did this? It kind of looked like a thing now. A general. I want to do like the double collar instead of just one. Yeah. Gloves from the welder. Pointy leather shoes. Ooh. Back. <laughs> Alright. 
welcome back. And I hope, uh, hope you feel better soon. Hope I'm not too bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. True, yeah. What Kevin said. So if you want to share your stuff, join our Discord. Share your stuff. Share it with everybody. But, hmm. Mm, really? I kind of want pockets. So, I'll do like... Like tools here or something. Hmm. I wonder what it would look like if I... Oh, I got it actually. Maybe this is just an add-on. Maybe this is an alternate version. Here. So I imagine... Like an apron version. Because I want to add this asymmetric design that I have in mind. So this is like a leather worker. Or not leather worker, but leather pocket design sort of thing. A smaller version. Like this. Double bag. And the gold. Where's the gold? It kind of looks like jeans now, but that's okay. Uh, and then add a shadow. Yeah, pockets like this one for tools. And there. Yeah. And there. So this is like a variation. You know, you can just take it off. On and off. Yeah, and this one is pretty inspired by Final Fantasy XIV. Like, putting the mask on the shoulders. So maybe I'll do that. Uh, or maybe instead of the mask, I'll do the goggles. Where is it? There we go. Back to work. So I was thinking... Uh, where is it? Teach. There we go. I probably don't need these anymore. Yeah, I don't need these as reference anymore. Oh, I want to try this on your own, but <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Word. Where's their pants? Uh, I'll get to that. <laughs> no pants just yet. I want to design the clothing first. So right there, it's kind of like how the Scions in Final Fantasy, they have their little goggles around them on their shoulder. I'll do that. I know. Yeah, do as scouts. Oh, as the Scots. Yeah, wear a kilt. Possible. But then I think there's a reason why they wear pants and not skirts for scientists. I think it's just the cover, you know. It covers more square feet. <laughs> I don't know. More surface area, that's the term. <laughs> there. And what if black pants? Okay, maybe black pants. Yeah, Japard. Yeah, love Japard. There. I can see that, yeah. It's really funny how, uh, yeah, Jepard has this thing in his design where he has multiple, I don't know what it is, but it looks really cool. It has multiple collars, I guess. Like, not collars, but cuffs, I guess? He has multiple cuffs on his, his sleeve. And then there. And there. But I like that design. Excuse me. <clears throat> yeah, cookie cat. But I can't wait to put them all side by side and to design the thing. Other other suggestions that you guys may have. Mm. 
Okay, I think for shoes, honestly, I don't spend too much time on designing shoes or pants. Just because, um, you know, it's not really the thing that people focus on most of the time. Right? Mostly the clothing. And then maybe I'll raise this up a bit, actually. There we go. Yeah. Where <laughs> all the medallions all look nice. Mm. Let's see. I'm Grant. His idea is. Yeah. So, actually. Copy paste. Boop. So, this is one variation for the professor design. But this is the basic one. Basic without the apron design. And what time is it? Okay, we got lots and lots of time. <laughs> blue, blue, blue. <laughs> I hope you didn't hear my brother there. <laughs> but yeah, my brother's been over because. Usually he goes to a different province for college. So he's been home for the holidays. Yeah, I forgot to say, it's been that long, so... Hope everybody had a nice holiday. Dun, dun, dun. Ah, you have to write a TOS. But yeah, uh, take your time. You know, art then ain't going anywhere. And hmm. yeah, I think I'm happy with this for the future design, honestly. Maybe I'll add more gold. Gold. Gold here. Here. Yeah, honestly, I would explore more, but then I want to take your suggestions after this. So I don't want to just just take too long in designing. I want to hear from you, from everybody. Ooh, true. Let's see. Sometimes I forget. <laughs> well, the thing is. I'm not that special, sad face. You will become good at this art thing too. Just have to take your time. Take your time learning. But yeah, I think this is good. Yeah, because I know there's a reason why why scientists like to do white lab coats. It's to see the stains. So I don't want to cover too much surface area with color. I think I'll keep this white though. Or hmm. Actually maybe that could be a variation. I'll I'll do that. So copy paste. Oh, oops. Hold on. There we go. I'm confused. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh pip. Copy, paste. There we go. So I'll make this a variant. And then one last variant before thing. Okay. Oh, your stream keeps freezing? I think it's a. Uh, I think it's the uh, internet end. Seems fine to me. It's been green for me. Oh, alright. See ya, Jason. Thanks for joining. Keeping chat alive. Alright. Alright. Yeah, I wanted to add gold, but I forgot. Uh, here. Pip, pip, pip. So I want to add it on here. There we go. 
I'm thinking he's... What is Gansai? Let me look that up. Let me Google it. Gansai. Is it... Oh, traditional Japanese pen watercolors. Oh. Okay. That's nice. I think if I had to learn a traditional medium, I'd want to learn... I'd want to learn oil painting. Because oil painting is super cool. Super nice. And then I'll add the logo again here. Just like that. Oh, there we go. We got our teacher. There you go. Oh no, I keep drawing on the wrong layer. <laughs> what is this one? Wait. Oh yeah, I could do... Hmm. Nah, it's fine. <laughs> there. And merge. So yeah, I got... I got my basic... Basic cast down, so we got... You know, the femme, we got the mask, and then we got the teacher. So let me, let me rearrange this a little bit, actually. So this is also part of the fun of designing so many characters, is the, uh, arranging them. There we go. And... There. So let me just arrange this for a little bit. And yeah, what I suggest for chat right now is give me suggestions on what kind of variations you want for for the uniform and for the teacher. Give me some suggestions and we could just have a nice chill time because I pretty much talked about everything I wanted to talk about. It's all about quantity over quality in the first one and then you pick out the ones you really like and that's where you take your time on. And, and then... You know, try to take the, the backstory into account. Because that'll really help. So yeah, now we got like an engineering uniform. Here. <laughs> and then... Here... Okay, got it. There. Because in the meanwhile... I'll just... These and just move them around. Oops. Oh, ooh. I see. And okay, let me arrange my layers while you guys are chatting there. Oh, <laughs> okay, I'm confused. Let me close. Oh, what the heck. Okay, so this one, there, merge, and then this one, no jacket, perfect. Okay, let's see, chat, ooh, underwater themed, mermaids, art uniform, a cropped one that doesn't go below the waist, a cropped uniform, okay. Yeah, satyr. Yeah, centaur. I'll definitely do the uh, the centaur one since it's been mentioned a lot. A werewolf uniform. Yeah. Okay, for sure. Let's see. Let's see what we could cook up in like fifteen minutes. But it's okay. We'll see. Maybe we have more time than that. Yeah. Thankfully, I didn't merge all of these, so I can just move them. Oh, and there. And then here. Oh, oops. Canceled. I opened something by accident. Oh, gotta go. Yeah. Thanks so much, Crazy. There's more, more streams to come. First stream of the year for me. 
Yeah, see you around. Is Mario a language? Uh, good question. I don't know. And I totally forgot. Should be hungry. Hmm. Maybe I'll just shrink this down a little bit. And these ones. But yeah, a mermaid one sounds kind of fun. <laughs> no, I know Mario's a character. Who? Oh, wait, no. Never mind. I thought you meant something. <laughs> Ooh, winged folk. We'll see, we'll see. Because this part, let's just have fun with it. Not that I wasn't having fun since the beginning. Here. And actually, this one should be a bit closer. <laughs> there. And now. Yeah, I'm just making it all nice and aesthetic. Okay. Uh, you. Yeah. Um, there we go. Alright. Yeah, I think realistically I can only do the centaur. <laughs> Sadly. But we'll see. Harpies are ring folk too. Yeah, true. So, I want mentorship. Classes. Classes are more accessible if you don't want that. Classes you do some assignments with me and prompts. Yeah, it's fun time. Here. <laughs> Have you guys seen Wa Peach? The design for Wa Peach? I don't know. Uh, I think it was like concept art or something. But I just see it around social media. Yeah. And it's pretty cute. I like it. Yeah, Wa Peach is like a little sister. She's like she's like a little gremlin. She's like And then she's like wearing a black dress and she's really small. And then she bosses a uh, Wario and Waluigi around. It's like a concept art? I forgot what she looks like, but she's like actually like this. Yeah. The scraps. <laughs> and going back to the drawing a little bit, honestly, I think this is gonna be the nicest one because we already have an identity for our for our college. So now I just focus on making a nice, nice design. There. And the red. Yeah, I'm doing this without reference, so forgive me if the the lower half anatomy is not as good as it could be. But what I'm trying to get is the body proportions. So I think this is more or less body proportions anyway, so that's what I'm going for. Okay, let me shrink down the head a little bit. There we go. Is the membership like school? Uh I wouldn't say. Um if you're talking about YouTube membership, uh, you just get the, the working files and stuff and like early access to the videos for some some tiers. But if you're classes, I'd say it's like a it's kinda like the streams, but with less people. And you could hand in your stuff and I could teach you teach you things you could improve on. And it's a good time. And we uh what else do we do? Yeah, we have new 
new assignments each week pretty much so you have a week to work on work on assignments the front leg is backwards is it okay let me let me look up horse Um, oh yeah, you're right. Uh, horse. There we go. Find a nice photo. Maybe I should have just looked up reference to begin with. This is like a major, major uh, mistake, actually. Okay. Uh, Legs are so weird. You can tell I've never. <laughs> I don't draw horses pretty much. Okay, what do we got? There, how about now? But good on you guys for for checking me. Because, uh, that's right, you guys should have checked me on that. Bloop, bloop. What are knees? <laughs> These knees. Okay, let me look up more references of horses, actually. Yeah, because there's so many joints to it. Open head, green tab. Okay, I'm too lazy to flip the reference, so I'll just flip my drawing. I mean, technically that's what I'm doing right now. I'm looking up references of the uh, the horse so that I know the joints and stuff. So you're not entirely wrong. I am looking up references for knees. But for horses. Okay. And then... And let's see. The basic colors that I need. Is it this one? No. And there. And there. <laughs> and let's see. And then I'll do the Oh, welcome back. Oh, you missed, uh, missed like a majority of the designs, I think. Yeah, welcome back, Blue Man. Welcome, welcome. Yeah, right now I'm just doing a centaur variant. Pretty much. Yeah, I gotta say, I really missed, I really missed drawing for stream. It's been, it's been too long. <laughs> and then design the sleeves. Hmm. And this one. But yeah, I'm not sure how it would look for the uh, for the cloak actually. If it'd be double. <laughs> yeah, thank you. And I'm double. Okay, hold up. I gotta look at the reference again for a little bit here. 
but yeah, thanks so much. Yeah, I've never, I've never ridden a horse before, but it sounds kind of, sounds kind of fun. But horses are actually pretty big, <laughs> like in, in real life. Even though most of the time they look kind of small, but they're big here. Got bit by a horse. Ruh -roh. This is so silly. <clears throat> One, two, three. One, two, three. I see. Deer references, and I found a were deer, <laughs> a deer bitten by a werewolf. <laughs> you know, I've always wondered, what if you put a werewolf in the moon? What happens? Because what what if the moon makes like a full, you know, revolution, and then it's like the or does it revolve? I don't know. I don't know anything about space. Because the side that has the sun. Happens to the world then, but then technically he's on the moon. Yeah. Yes, you gotta have pockets. Pockets, it does, but it's just more concealed, I imagine. Not as uh, obvious. And let's stretch a little. But I wish my mom didn't. Ah. <laughs> uh, thanks, dude. All those layers. But what animal did I do? I did a. I don't know. For for the logo, do you mean? Because it was supposed to be a dragonfly, but I don't got time. <laughs> I feel like a nice thing to do actually is to look up horse uh, clothing because yeah, I know they wear stuff um, horse cloak <laughs> is that something to look up or... I don't know it's just I'm just getting pictures of people on horses with cloaks I guess this is the the best I could do. Yeah. Mm. Okay, and then there's gold at the bottom. I think it's like a special variation like this. So it's kinda like a triangle. Kind of nice. Bring that and that, and then for the snares and and the gold button on the thing. <laughs> I popped off today. Yeah, I did. Yeah, I've been quiet too. I've just been like, hmm. <laughs> And the hand. I'll just draw a hand. Like the first hand I drew. Right. And I'm too lazy to just shade it, so I'll just do a line art. There we go. And I think this is the best I can do in the amount of time. But hmm, I kind of want to cook more. <laughs> okay, so there's the tail. And then the 
Because I'm thinking of the practicality too, of how they would wear it. So... Yeah, I think this is good enough. Mm. There we go. Yeah, of course. Like, yeah, just as a reminder, uh, don't uh, don't be shy when you want to draw this uh, these outfits that we designed today. Because, yeah, and you can share it in the the Discord. I mean, and I'll do a I'll do a full lineup actually. Hmm. Here. Okay, I'll merge this. Just so we could put them all side by side to see everything we designed today. Alright. And sensor. <laughs> then after I do that, I will wrap up. Put this in the corner. Put you in the corner. Yeah, look at all this uh, outfits we designed actually so much. So yeah, when it comes to designing outfits like this, just uh, just try every idea that comes to your mind, honestly. And I got an idea. So you, you be down there. Oh, you be down. Oh, that is not it. You there. And then you a little bit bigger. And this is kind of the fun part. This kind of like Lego, <laughs> just like fitting everything together. There we go. And I guess I could just move. Nice. A sensor but yeah it's kind of nice it's nice and satisfying with seeing them all lined up like this so technically the next step after this one is to pick the one you like the most and then kind of flesh it out much more so really keep your hand moving because i know i see a lot of people they they kind of get stuck because they do a lot of research which is fine you know like you could do tons of research beforehand, but what ends up happening is that they kind of lose track, and then they lose motivation, and then people like just kind of save it. But for this one, I focused more on the drawing, and then maybe later on I'll do some research, and then expand on these ideas. So try to... those are the two ways, pretty much. You could draw around research, or you could research around your drawing is a nice way of putting it. Centaur ain't have no pants. Oh my gosh. Because I was thinking for the centaur, I didn't give him pants because how is he gonna put it on? I feel so bad. Like, how is he gonna take it off? Uh, usually centaurs, you know, it's fine. Centaurs usually just have the horse half. <laughs> and I'm trying to think. But yeah, just like a, to give a little tour again. So we have the teachers, like the cooler version, or the students. And then with the... This is how we started out, the masculine version. So it's like different variations of how to wear the jacket. Right there. And then for the femme, you know, we got the, the baggy version. So it's like a skirt, doubles as a skirt. And then we got the welder version. So yeah, it's really fun. But if you want to do more, more of these, and with me, you can take classes uh, in Wing Canvas. So check out our website. It's in the description. And if you want just streams, you know, we stream every Saturday. We stream every Saturday and Sunday. I stream every Sunday. And then it's either Faye. So be on the lookout for that. Faye will start streaming. So if you want some traditional art streams, be on the lookout for that. Saturdays, it's Josh or Jesse most of the time. Yeah. Oh, let's see. Is it possible to draw a design and add this to Blender from the software? I mean, 
Yeah, I don't see why not. It's possible to draw a design. Adds to Blender. I think with Blender, Blender's like a different beast. But I guess in theory you could, you know, you could like add 3D character <laughs> and just like draw on it. That's another thing I like about Flip Studio. The, uh, the 3D. This is what some people do. They like, they pose it. Oh, oops. There. I see how close it's struggling to get. And then like, and then you draw the outfit on it. That's what some people do. And then you could even like move it around though. Wee. <laughs> but enough of that. Uh, I should wrap up soon. <laughs> it's dapper. Yeah. I like the blue because it's like the color of the school. And then gold. Gold is like a nice just trim to it. I do know how to 3D model actually little man but... I don't know if I feel qualified enough to teach it though. I'm kind of, kind of just like, I know a little bit more than basic, but I don't feel confident teaching it. Man, yeah, I do want to show you guys actually. I want to show you one of my favorite things that I've ever 3D modeled. Uh, where is it? Downloads. Uh, this one. This one. I made the Zeong from, from Gundam, the original Gundam. Yeah, this is we modeled this and like it was super satisfying. And it took me like a few weeks to just 3D model make everything look like this. I don't know if it moved I don't think it would move though because I just made it cool pretty much. Ooh. Where to get into Gundam? Hmm. Just start with the one you want. But what I suggest, Quinn? is Wish for Mercury, the one in the latest one. And it's on YouTube. All of it's on YouTube, officially uh, uploaded by the by Gundam. So yeah, Gundam's an anime. It's a mech anime. Yeah, and it's all there, Quinn. The English dub, the sub, it's also there. This is one of my favorite things that I 3D model. It's fun. But I think I should wrap up, actually. <laughs> um, I guess I'll I'll catch you guys later for next week. Stay tuned for another stream. And until then, uh, I'm glad. I'm glad I'm back. And first stream of the new year. <laughs> Thanks for joining everyone. Yes, bye-bye. See ya.